told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile Hi everyone, I hope you're doing amazing So today I'm going to show you how I made this fall makeup look And stay tuned till the end because I had a little twist on it so the first thing that I did is spray my eyes like I usually do and then I'm using the Jaclyn Hill um, and Morphe collab. The first color was a peach in my crease and then we're going in with a darker shade just to accentuate um, the crease. So just the second shade after the transition shade, that's the shade you're gonna use and then we're blending it into our crease. Then we're going in with this burn orange in the outer portion of our eyes just to blend it even more. And the trick is, is the more you add colors, the more dimension you add to the look. Then we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau Palette. I don't know why, but it's just, this palette is just amazing and I didn't get over it uh, this fall, especially because of all the shade that are so crazy for fall. Like, Oh my god, look at the pigment! Um, so I'm going in with this small Tiffer brush and we're gonna go in with this shade which is a dark green, um, I will say gold shimmer shade and I'm using it without any setting spray and you will see the pigment is just crazy. Like Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow just never <laughs> disappoint. Um, I will say it is an investment, like those palettes are key to your life. Um, if you're looking for any eyeshadow palette, Anastasia Beverly Hills will never disappoint. Anyway, I'm going in, I'm adding the same brown shade in the outer corner just to mix the shimmers with the um, outer corner of my eye. And then we're gonna go in with this dark green color, which is so pretty. And matte colors are really, really difficult to make. But like I said, Anastasia Beverly Hills pigment never disappoint. And it's just so pretty. So we're just gonna add this in between shades. So in between the brown and in between the gold, um, green gold eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna go in just with this tiny little brush just to mainly darken the outer portion of my eye. I feel like this really makes it a little bit more fallish. Um, but I don't know, I just really like the how it like fades. And then I'm just taking any brush that I don't have any product on just to blend, 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 because we don't want any harsh lines. That was a lot of talking in with just one breath, but I'm gonna go in with this uh, beige kind of color just to, for highlight. Um, when I put high, like eyeshadow, like sparkly eyeshadow on my eyes, I really wanna make sure that my brow highlight is always matte. Um, this will just make your look more put together just because like when you put too much shimmer it's just after a few hours it just get shimmers everywhere on your like on your eyelid to your brows and it's just not a pretty look so tips right here um but yeah anyway then i'm gonna fill my lash line with a dark brown color um this will also help with your lashes and make them look more fuller and then we're gonna brush your brows add some sparkling eyeliner in our eyes I had trouble with the eyeliner so make sure to you know don't have trouble like me and then we're gonna fill our brows but brows are so boring so you know let's skip that by the way I usually do my brows with the Mary Kay brow definer but I couldn't find mine so it's probably in my wedding kit since it's a wedding season um, but yeah I did it with powder this time and I will recommend using, if you want a more natural look, um, I don't know why I clapped here, but if you want a more natural look, I will say a uh, pencil is more appropriate and if you want a more messy look and like all that kind of stuff, then powder it is. Then I put some brow gen and then I define my brow with some concealer, I'm using the Born This Way concealer. Um, and then we're gonna curl our lashes and put some mascara. The mascara I'm using is the mascara I'm using is the Benefit Real mascara. I just love it. It never grew out of voila. It never grew out on me. And yeah. And then we're gonna put some lashes. 
I will try to find what lashes did I use that day. I think it's a, a small business brand actually, and I just love their lashes to be honest. So I'm gonna try to find if that's the brand I have in mind that I'm using. But I just feel like uh, like really long outer corner, especially for this look, since we went a little bit darker in the outer corner, makes, I, I feel like the lashes just complete the look. Uh, and then I went in with my Makeup Forever primer um, all over my face. I just love this primer, especially if you have dry skin or if you just want your makeup to last like longer, you can even put that primer first and then just add a little bit more powder if you're oily or me, I'm just soaking all the hydration I can get. And then I'm gonna go in with stick foundation. I don't even remember which one it is. It's that, that one, but I know I, I mix it with another stick foundation. I think this one is from Tarte, but I think they just discontinued it. Um, but I, no, I'm, I'm lying because the packaging from Tarte is brown. Anyway, so put on your foundation and then I blend it with the E8 from Morphe. This is the best foundation brush you will ever use. It makes your foundation look so like hair brushed and like the brush doesn't pick up too much product. And I don't know my since I'm using like I got this tip from Jaclyn Hill and since I'm using this brush specifically my foundation never Never run away and never I don't know this is just magic. This brush is just it's just magic So anyway, I'm going in with the Kosas concealer. This is a new favorite of mine this summer um, I love the fact that you <laughs> You can put like a little bit at a time. I think here is because my brush had a little bit of pink on it. So I had to reuse another one. And sometimes that happens, especially with like pink eyeshadow and stuff like that. Like uh, the pink pigment is really, really like strong. So every time you have a pink pigment on your brush, you're basically screwed. It's, even if you wash it out with like bar and soap. Um, so that what what uh, was happening here. But anyway, putting Kosas concealer. This is one of the best concealer out there, especially if you're looking for something neutral, but also like really light on the skin and you want it to not crease and stay there all day. That's the concealer. And I will say pair it with the MAC Studio Fix powder and your concealer will not move. I'm telling you, this shit is not going anywhere. And I really fall in love with the MAC Studio Fix, so I believe that's what I'm using right here on my face. And you know, the colder months are coming, so compact powder it is. I will say during the winter, I really much love the compact powder instead of a loose powder. I don't know why. Um, I think it's just because of the cold. It just sticks more to your face and it doesn't go anywhere. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Uh, then I'm going in with the NARS blush in, oh my God, I just love this shade and I have it right here. So um, the blush is in the shade uh, Impassionate. I just love it. It's like a matte pink. Um, and then we're going in with some contour kit, the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit like usual and some hourglass I like because this highlight is just amazing especially if you're not like super oily or you're just not someone who like love shimmer or love highlight this highlight is more like a dewy highlight it just makes your skin like super hydrated like a glow from within and when you're like when you go hourglass you just never go back because I'm, I'm telling you this powder is just so amazing especially like on brides or like I said, on daytime look, you don't want to like blinding highlights. I mean, who doesn't want a blinding highlight anyway? But like for people, who, you know, daytime look, I feel like this is the perfect, perfect highlight. Anyway, then I'm going in with the MAC um, lip liner in the shade Soar. Thank you for the client who like bought it for a makeup. I don't remember what client it was, but I just fell in love with the shade and I bought it. And I think it's my favorite lip liner I've ever owned. Um, so this is more of a, I will say a pinkish, but it has a little bit of a brown and um, like old rosy tones in it. And I'm gonna like put this all over my um, my lips. And then I'm gonna add two new product that I love but never use on camera and I don't know why. So these are the Pharmacy Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I think it's 
it is like a um, direct selling company, but I could be wrong. Um, but there's a lot of product that I tried recently that are amazing. Um, I'm not selling it, I'm just saying it because someone sent it to me and I just love, 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 love those shades. Um, I think I'm gonna try to find the name of those two shades that I'm gonna be using. So the first one is like the same shade as the lip liner. And then the second one is a little bit more nudish and like more brown. And I'm gonna add that in my, um, in like in the middle of my lips. Then I'm going in with some of the brown that I put on my eyes, underneath my eyes. And I'm also um, on the closest to my lash line, I'm gonna add a little bit of that dark brown just to like envelope my eyes, I feel like. And then we're gonna add setting spray and also mascara on my bottom lashes. And I'm using the Origin Mascara. Anyway, I hope you guys love this tutorial as much as I do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below telling me what's your go-to things you're looking forward this fall. It can be anything. And for the bonus part, um, you're gonna see it in a few seconds, but I created this head masterpiece, which is a raining cloud. Um, make sure to check out my Instagram also to see the full transformation and reel. And yeah, I added some fake fake rain. Anyway, I feel like I've been talking for forever, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. You told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile and